three challenges. I am contestant number one. I'll just make a stronger raft. Contestant number three. Three DIY rafts. Oh no! <laughs> it's working. It actually feels pretty solid. And the last to sink wins $10,000. I'm going to have to wee in the pool. <laughs> Watch to the end. In today's challenge, each contestant will be building their own raft and trying to survive as long as possible in a pool. And the last one to sink wins $10,000. And now that you guys know the challenge, let's meet the contestants. My name is Bold Martin and I am contestant number one. I think I've got a good chance of winning this challenge because I'm not heavy, unlike contestant number two. What? I may be a little heavy. All that means though is I'll just make a stronger raft. And finally, that leaves me, contestant number three. I'm smart, I'm creative, and I want to stay out of that freezing cold water. So I know for sure I'm going to win this challenge. Each contestant will have one hour to build their raft. And then we'll enter the pool with one objective. Don't sink. Oh, and one last thing I uh, forgot to mention. Time starts I'm off. Okay guys, I've just arrived at B&Q. In case you don't know, B&Q is a DIY shop and it's filled with loads of supplies that I know will help me with today's challenge. Now I'm not sure where Mum and Martin are, but hopefully they won't have came here because I don't want them stealing my supplies. Team Morgs, let's get in there and let's start crafting our raft. Okay guys, I'm inside B&Q right now. I'm just looking around trying to find some supplies for my raft. Oh, oh sorry, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. Hey, excuse me lady, stop right there. <gasps> Morgan? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? More like, what are you doing here? Are you copying my items again? I am sick of them. Seriously? Again? Hey, you! Stop right there! Huh? Morgan, Jill, what are you doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? Are you trying to copy us? Wait a sec! You're copying me! No, Morgan, you're copying me. I think you two are copying me. I'm not copying you or Jill! Morgan, you're definitely copying Martin. No, Jill, I think Morgan's copying you. Martin, Jill, I'm not copying either of you! So does that mean that I'm copying Martin? No, Jill, I think that means I'm copying you. But does that mean that we're both copying Morgan? Both of you just shut up! I don't care who's copying copying you. I'm off to get my supplies. Yeah, Morgan. Me too. And Martin, stop copying me. No, Joe, you're copying me, remember? Wait, so does that mean that if Martin's copying Morgan, then does that mean that I'm copying Morgan? I can't take this anymore! <sighs> okay, guys, I've been thinking for a few minutes and I think I've come up with a plan. I found a sheet of wood and I'm gonna craft this into a raft. Let me explain. My sheet of wood has a big surface area, so it'll be hard to sink. And everyone knows boats are square. However, this sheet of wood will not be enough. I need to get creative and think, what else can I attach to this to make it even harder to sink? And also, I need to be quick. Right guys, I've been looking around this shop and I've just come up with a great idea. I found these extra large black tubs. And check this out guys, I can fit inside it. This is really, really comfortable. So, seeing this tub is so big and hollow inside, I think this is going to stay afloat. However, if I just use this tub as it is, it could tip over and I could fall into the water. So, I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find anything else to add to this tub. Team Bold, I'm feeling confident. Okay guys, I've just looked around the entire shop and to be completely honest, I haven't got any ideas of what to build. I need something that I can sit on that's going to keep me afloat, that's going to keep me comfortable, and I just can't think of anything. I literally just need something to sit on, like a chair. <gasps> the chair! If 
I get a chair and then find something to attach onto it to help keep it afloat, not only will I not sink, but I'll be comfortable at the same time. Morgs, you're a genius. Now let's go get a chair. Okay guys, I've been looking around and I think I've found the perfect thing to add to my board. Check this out guys, it's polystyrene. Polystyrene is very light and it definitely floats. So, if I cover my board with polystyrene, it's going to take me one step closer to building the unsinkable raft. Oh, guys, check this out. I have just found the perfect thing to add to my tub. These massive rolls of bubble wrap. Think about it. If you attach one of these to each side of the tub, then it's going to stop it from tipping over and keep it afloat. Oh, guys. I'm a genius. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just came up with the best idea. As you can see over here, there's loads of water tanks. These are used to keep water in, but today I'm gonna be using them to keep water out. If I attach one of these to each side of the chair, then I don't think I'll ever sink. Team Morgs, I think this challenge is mine. Right guys, I've just arrived home with with all my items. My watch is telling me that I only have 30 minutes left to get my raft ready. So I need to get a move on. So guys, step number one is attach the polystyrene to the board. I've got glue, I've got rope, and I've got tape. So let's waste no more time and let's begin crafting the raft. Okay guys, I've just arrived home with all my supplies, now it's time to get crafting. As you can see, I've got lots and lots of duct tape, and I'm going to use this duct tape to attach this bubble wrap to each side of this box. But remember guys, the time's ticking away, so it's time to get a move on. This is going to take a while. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm back home and I've got all my supplies at the ready. Now, I only just arrived back and I think I can hear Martin and Mum, so that means I need to get a move on. I only have 25 more minutes to build my device, so there's no time to waste. So guys, for step number one, we need to add extra protection to the water tanks. As you can see, this right here is just a lid, so I'm going to add loads of duct tape to make sure it stays sealed. Guys, my safety raft is complete. But I've just had another great idea. I'm gonna coat the raft in duct tape to make it that extra bit strong. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, step one completed. As you can see, my floats are now complete. All I have to do now is attach them to my tub. And then I'll have the ultimate raft. However, I'm gonna need some more duct tape. I've already used a roll. Guys, the tanks are successfully sealed with duct tape. But now it's time for the hard part. I need to find a way to attach both of these tanks onto each side of the chair. And I think there's only one way to do it. Duct tape, duct tape, and even more duct tape. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, the raft is complete. At the heart of the raft, we have a solid piece of oak wood. And then for the middle layer, we have some extra floaty polystyrene. And to top it off and to hold it all together, we have extra strong duct tape. And looking at my watch, I have 10 minutes to spare. So I'm gonna go and have some fun and play on my Peppa Pig space hopper. Wee! Wee! <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. This gives me an idea. These Peppa Pig space hoppers are really floaty. And I've got about three of these. So 
why don't I attach these onto my raft to make it even more floaty? But before we do that, one last thing. Whee! Right, guys. With five minutes to spare, I'm happy to say that I have completed my raft. And I think there's only one thing left to do. Roll the cinematics! As you can see, <laughs> my raft is complete. It feels solid, sturdy, and I'm confident it will not sink. And if you don't believe me, just sit back and watch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am happy to say that my build is officially complete. And now, I think you guys all know what's coming. Roll the cinematics! With one minute to spare, I'm proud to say that my raft is ready. And I think that means there's only one thing left to do. Roll the cinematics. Okay guys, the one hour preparation time is over and all three of us are here in our completed rafts. We've got Jill in her whatever you call this thing. Morgan, it's called a Peppa Pigmobile. Of course, we've got me in my floaty chair mobile. And then we've got Martin in his box. What? It's not just a box, it's a floating box. And of course, as well as the rafts, we have the pool. Now, before we all enter the pool and see who can survive the longest, I say we go in one by one and see if our devices actually flow. Morgan, sounds good to me. Yeah, Morgan, I'm so confident, I haven't even got my bikini on. Are you sure that's the reason you didn't wear your bikini? <gasps> what do you mean? Okay guys, mum's device is in the pool and it's floating, but will it be floating once mum gets onto it? Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh, there's already water flooding onto it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh! Oh no, oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Mom, what's oh, no. I don't have my bikini on! My clothes are ruined! And the water's freezing! Martin, what do you think? Does this count? I mean, technically, she's staying afloat. She isn't sinking. Her head is still out of the water. It certainly is. You know what, Morgan? I think it counts. However, I don't think she'd be able to stop in there too long. Her legs are getting really, really cold. You're right about that. It's freezing. Okay, guys, it is time for Martin to enter the pool. His device is floating, but will it keep floating once he gets in it? Morgan, let's find out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here he goes. Oh. Here he goes. Oh, oh my gosh. This is it. This is it. Oh no! Oh no! Get wait, your wait, wait a sec! <laughs> Get your balance! <laughs> oh my gosh! No, Martin, you can't grip the side! Guys, it's a little bit rockety, but it's working! However, I've got to hope that no water gets inside the box or else I'm going down like the Titanic. Well, looks like Martin has officially passed. And now, I guess that only leaves one more person. Folks, it's your turn. Okay, guys, as you can tell, the device is floating. But now it's time for the big moment. Will it still be floating when my 200 pound body is sitting on that chair? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, oh no, ah, is it working? Yo, it's a little bit slopey, but I think it's working. Check it out guys, it actually feels 
pretty solid. Guys, I got a little bit nervous when the left water tank started to crack, but I guess it's holding up pretty well. Yeah, Morgan, I guess it's a pass. But I don't think the left water tank's gonna last for much longer. So I think Morgan's gonna be going out first. But now everybody is in the pool and it's time to begin the last to sink challenge. Guys, I'm not sure how long this is gonna last, but hopefully not too long because my feet are already freezing. <gasps> so is my bum. Okay guys, we've been in the pool now for about an hour and so far, my raft is holding up pretty good. So far, absolutely no water's got inside the tub. And I'm staying afloat just fine. Honestly, I'm having fun. I think I could do this for hours. As for Morgan and Jill, let's see how they are getting on. Guys, I am bloody freezing. I can't feel my legs anymore. And as for my bum, I don't even know if I've got one anymore. And these stupid pepper pig balls have done nothing for me. I'm staying afloat pretty well, but I don't know how much longer I can last in this freezing cold water. Guys, mum's right about the water. It is absolutely freezing. Jill said she can't feel a bum. Well, I can't feel my feet. Just like mum, I'm staying afloat pretty well, but I don't know how much longer I can last in this freezing cold water. Guys, it's been about one and a half hours since we entered the pool. And as well as being really, really cold, I'm starting to get hungry. I just don't know why I always forget to bring food with me to these challenges. I could really use some sweets right now. Or a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar? Chocolate bar? Did someone say chocolate bar? Morgan, it was me. I'm so hungry. Oh, well, Jill, it's your lucky day because look what I remembered to bring with me. A chocolate bar. Oh, Morgan, thank you so much. I really need it. Yeah, Mum, it's chocolate crunch. I'm sure you will love it. Oh, thank you so much, Morgan. I'm so hungry. I really need it. Well, actually, thinking about it, I'm pretty hungry as well. Wait. What? It'd be a shame if I ate it all myself. Morgan, no. Remember, sharing is caring. Mum, you're right. Sharing is caring. But not when you're in a challenge. No. No. Morgan, I thought we were friends. But not anymore. This is war. Okay, guys, I've lost track of how long we've been in the pool. I'm just so cold. I can't feel any of my bottom half. I feel like I'm a, a floating torso. I don't think my legs are going to work again after this video. They're frozen. But guys, I have come up with an idea to warm me up. I don't think Morgan and Martin are going to like it. Oh, no, guys. What the hell is she talking about? Guys, this does not sound good. Guys, I need to do something to warm me up. I don't think I've got any other choice. If I do nothing, I'm going to have to forfeit. This is my only hope. I'm gonna have to wee in the pool. What? You better be joking. Jill, if you wee in this pool, I will never go near you again. That is disgusting. And anyway, this is my pool. I spent $1,000 on it. Can't just wee in it. Too late. Oh no. <coughs> I think I can smell it. Oh no, you're buying me a new pool after this challenge. That is unacceptable. Come on, guys, it's only a bit of wee. I do it all the time on holiday. Oh no, that is not acceptable behavior for a 55 year old lady. You know what, Morgan? We need to get her back for that. Yeah, Martin, I think that is a great idea. Guys, what are you doing? No, you don't have to do this. It was an accident. It just slipped out. <laughs> oh, guys, 
I'm so cold. I've been in the pool now for what feels like an eternity. And it's just getting harder and harder. As the hours go by, the temperature drops more and more. And that just makes it even colder for me. Guys, I really want to forfeit and leave the pool. I can't do this anymore. Wait. No! I'm not gonna forfeit! I'm Morgs! I'm the challenge king! There is no way I am giving up, even if that means becoming a human ice block! Morgan, I know you've got a heart of steel and you never give up, but this time you have to. There's no way that you can last longer than me, especially with my masterpiece. Morgan, I can stay near for days, weeks, months, years! You might as well give up, bro, before you end up hurting yourself even more. You know what, Martin? You're right, I can't last as long as you. But if you're really so confident that your raft is unsinkable and it really is a masterpiece, then why don't we settle this like real men? Let's have a battleship 1v1. And the last man standing wins the $10,000. Hmm, you know what, Morgan? You're on! If you want a battle, you've got a battle. And there's no way you are sinking my ship. Morgan, are you ready? I'm ready! Martin, are you ready? I'm ready! Well, guys, it's time for the final battle. Three, two, one, go! Morgan's trying to fill Martin's boat with water! He's trying to sink him! Martin's retaliating! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! These guys are really going for it! Oh! Morgan's going for the backwater crew! He's trying to sink Martin by pushing into his boat! This is crazy! I have never seen anything like this in my life! Martin's stuck in the corner! Oh! Oh! He's grabbing Martin's boat! He's trying to sink him! This is crazy! This is like nothing I've seen! Your winner is Morgz! Yeah! Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 10 million subscribers. And make sure you cop the brand new spray paint Morgz merch. It's going to be available below this video right now in the merch shelf. Thanks for watching. Peace out.